Hello again. One of the things which fascinates me about modern films and television series set in Britain's past is that those making them cannot quite seem to be able to make up their minds what the attitude towards black people actually was. On the one hand, there is the received wisdom that until the last few decades, Britain was a horribly racist place where black people were made to feel unwelcome and routinely refused accommodation in jobs. On the other hand, it is felt necessary to work black people and Asian characters into any drama set in the past. And so those making a film or series set in the 1930s or 50s have to include major characters played by people of colour. This introduces a new problem. If those making such programmes wanted to be realistic, they would then show such people as being subjected to racist taunts and generally the object of prejudice. Now this is tricky because such prejudice would have manifested itself in the form of racial slurs such as the dreaded N-word. Older viewers will know perfectly well what I mean that I mean racial terms that like the N-word and so on were bandied about freely and made about all sorts of people. We can't really have that being shown on the screen and in any case few black actors would wish to be seen in films and plays as just being the victims of racist abuse and the object of scorn by the rest of the cast. So a brilliant scheme was devised which both allows black people and Indians to feature in all kinds of drama set in Britain from the 18th century to the 1960s. I don't know who devised this idea or whether it was done consciously or whether it's simply something that's cropped up. It entails simply pretending that racism did not exist and that there were loads of black people around in Victorian England or 1930s London and nobody paid them any attention at all. These people are simply treated like anybody else and nobody even notices the colour of the skin. We saw this in the Netflix series Bridgerton and also in the remake of The Darling Buds of May last year. You just make many important characters black and imagine that this was so normal that nobody would even have noticed a black aristocrat in Regency England or a black landlord or school teacher in 1950s Kent. We just imagine that they were part of the scenery just treated like anybody else. A number of black people particularly in America, have objected to this arrangement because, as they rightly point out, it actually means eradicating racism from the past and making it look as though black people have always been accepted as equals by the indigenous inhabitants of Britain, which is absurd. Two recent television programmes highlight this clearly. In the new Netflix film about the Munich crisis of 1938, Perhaps it was just released on Netflix yesterday. Some people might already have seen it. Many scenes take place in number 10 Downing Street. One of the senior civil servants is shown to be a black man with no explanation given and no remark made by anybody about the extraordinary sight this would have presented in Downing Street before the war. Just to underline the message that Downing Street was multicultural in those days, an Indian woman is seen working in the typing pool there. Not only that, all the other typists are extras without speaking parts, but the Indian woman is given some sharp lines to speak and treats the white civil servant who wants her to type a document with some disdain. This is so utterly weird for anybody who remembers the power imbalance which existed between civil servants and the loaded typists in the pool, uh, not just in the civil service, but in offices generally. None of them, Indian or white, would have dreamt of being so saucy with one of the men bringing them work. It would have been literally more than their jobs were worth. The whole thing with this black guy, an Indian woman in 10 Downing Street in 1938, really does come across as being out of place and anachronistic, and it adds a very unrealistic note to the uh, film before the plot has even got going. Of course, having shown an 
a Britain in the past without racial prejudice, this does pose a problem when you wish to explore social issues like racism in Britain. A convention has been established, although, as I say, by whom I have no idea. Up until the 1950s, little or no racism will be shown in Britain, and senior civil servants will be shown working in Downing Street with no suggestion that they might have been seen differently to their white colleagues. From the 1960s onward, though, racism may be shown as a serious problem. In the description to this video, I give a link to the Daily Express article, which is describing a new plot development in the Call the Midwife series shown on the BBC in Sunday evenings. We learn about the black man who stars in the show and works as a motor mechanic. Jenny Agatha says that the show will tackle racism as mechanic Cyril struggles to secure a white-collar job. He wants to get out of his blue-collar job as a car mechanic, but has difficulty. Jenny Agatha added, This is a big issue and a very serious issue that comes up with something appalling. The series is set in 1967, which is, according to British television drama, when racism began in this country. If only Cyril had been around in London 30 years earlier, he would have been able to get a white-collar job as a civil servant in Downing Street. But things were a lot tougher in the 1960s, seemingly.